All right, Waveform 9 is out. And so I just wanted to show you a few of the changes. There's a lot of workflow improvements. There are small workflow improvements that you might not discover. So I do want to highlight a few of those. But this video, I'm going to just show you a few things about the Settings tab. The Settings tab's reorganized with some nice new icons, so it looks better. Everything's in alphabetical order here. So to me, that makes a little bit more sense. We have a new appearance tab. The general settings or the general behavior tab had a lot of stuff on it before. Now that's been divided up into some other topical areas. So the things related to the look, the language, the look and feel, the browser position are now on this appearance tab. You've also got the MIDI note color settings, things here on nice sliders that you can, uh, you can choose and the clips and tracks you can choose whether you want to link the clip color to the track color, that's another thing you've got available here. The, uh, there's a new chords tab to build custom chord formulas. The downloads has its own tab now, where before you had to load this up from help, it's now available right here as a page. File locations organizes all of the different locations, including the general file locations, and you can jump right into that folder right here, which if you've been digging around in your system looking for where are these things, like the factory loops or the presets, and particularly templates, if you've ever tried to look for those in the past, you can easily jump right in here and find those. Now, General behavior is simplified a little bit because some of the things are out of here. But the one I really want to show you is the keyboard shortcuts. This is completely reorganized. All of these things have been renamed so that they make more sense. And you can search two ways in here. So if you want to search for what are the keyboard shortcuts that are possible related to zooming, you can just type the word zoom and do a keyword search. Now, the cool thing about this is there's new zooming behaviors. The zoom in fast, which uses the plus and minus. If you have an extended keypad, you can use plus and minus there. Or if you use shift plus and shift minus, which is basically the underlying key, you can do fast zoom. So that the way that works, I'll just demonstrate it here. If you position the cursor, zoom in fast will take you deeper in than one zoom increment. Normally, if you hit the down arrow, normally the down arrow and up arrow will allow you to zoom in and out. But zoom in fast just multiplies that. So it just takes you a deeper increment. So a couple of zooms and you can get kind of right down into the waveform level. So if we're up at the top level, zoom, zoom, and we're right down into an area where we can do audio editing really quickly. It's a feature that I really like to use. I often set this up in various DAWs, and I've done this in, in uh, waveform before. So you can go from like this level, zoom, zoom, and you're right down to practically the sample level. I think that's great. Back to the settings tab. So zoom. The other thing is merge is now the, the single key merge is now, if I type in the word merge here, Merge Selected Clips is now, by default, Option M. So if you have something like, like this and you've been chopping it up, which I'll just do here quickly just for the uh, demonstration purposes, and you've chopped it up into pieces and you want to quickly combine these back into one piece, Option M, or whatever you assign it to, gives you a single key version of that. You could do that with a script before, but now it's in there by default and ready to map to whatever key you'd like. Use Command Z to undo that. Now, in addition to this, I'm gonna click this X that will clear that. You can search for what's mapped to something. So if you wanna create your own mapping, like I'm gonna hit F11 here, it will show you what F11 is mapped to. It's mapped to toggle between the controls panel and the compact toolbar. And if you want to search for something else, like what is F1 mapped to, just click here. And that shows the pop help help at the mouse pointer. I'll clear that. Let's go back to F11. F11 has been changed. And that's because F11 used to just hide the controls panel. But now it shrinks the controls panel to the compact toolbar 
which I think makes more sense. And that's a standard shortcut. So if you've got your own custom mappings, you might want to do this before it just hit it entirely. I would say most of the time you need the transport functions and things on there. So to me, it makes more sense to go when you're, if you want to create more vertical space on the screen to go to the compact toolbar rather than hide it entirely. You still can do that if you want, and you can do that by clicking this button here. That hides it entirely. But as long as you have that open, F11 will now take you back and forth between the compact toolbar and the full controls panel. And there's a few other convenient mappings that have been added in here as well to make it a little bit easier, a little bit more complete. A lot of these things have also been renamed. There is the ability on the solo mute behavior to clear all the solo and mutes, and there's a keyboard shortcut from that. This is reset muted solo tracks. By default, that's shift option M. And you had some of these things muted and soloed, and you have a large project, and you have different things on or off. Then shift option M just clears all those solo states with a single keyboard shortcut. That was something that's been requested to add, and that's now been added as a default. A lot of these things you could do with macros in the past, but now you can do them with some of the standard things. And I just think it's great that we have the ability to search within here. It just makes it so much more convenient. A lot more sections, things related to the MIDI editor, to navigation, and navigation, jump to start RTZ, which is mapped to home by the default. This is something that um, I've asked for in waveform and traction for a long time before the return to zero or the rewind function would go to the end marker first and then it would go to the beginning or to zero rather than true R RTZ or return to zero. Now we have a true RTZ capability which is by default mapped to home. If you want to use these default mappings you would go to reset defaults and uh, restore default waveform key mappings. And they're very similar to the way they were in waveform, but just a few minor tweaks. And of course, these this looks completely different because these have all been renamed and reorganized. So those are just a few new things related to the settings tab and with some focus on some new sh keyboard shortcuts in waveform. I hope you enjoy this. I think you'll enjoy waveform 9 a lot.